everybody, it's Chris from Steeda, and today we're gonna to be installing these form lighting LED headlights fitting your 2018 plus non-Shelby Mustangs. Offers a super unique look, the daytime running lamps, sequential LEDs when you're turning, it's awesome. Tie that in with the diode dynamics combination lamps down underneath. Again, everything's sequential and you get that beautiful yellow fog light. If you opt for it, you also have the bright white one as well. We're gonna show you a product overview as well as a step-by-step -step installation to give you guys an idea of what installation looks like on your 2018 Plus Mustang and ultimately some beautiful glamour shots of these things installed. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Here we have the form lighting LED headlights fitting your 2018 to 2022 non-Shelby Mustang. These are an awesome design from Form Lighting because they really are unique and stand out from the crowd. They feature a unique startup sequence, which is great. It has that sequential signaling that taps into the turn signal, includes all necessary hardware and wiring for installation, and all in all, you really can't go wrong. They feature an OE grade construction with a UV resistant polycarbonate lens. They're plug and play and they have a two-year limited warranty from Form Lighting, so if you have any issues, they'll be happy to take care of you. We're really excited to get these lights on a 2018 Plus Mustang, specifically because you're gonna have more light output, so we'll show you that comparison before and after as well. So like I said, let's get this installation rolling. We'll show you a step-by-step, -step, as well as a before and after, after the installation, of what these things look like on a 2018 Plus Mustang. Here are the tools required for the installation. First, you want to disconnect the negative battery cable. Then you'll jack the car up on a set of jack and jack stands or use a car lift if you have one. You can turn the wheel to either way to get better access to the fender well. Once you have the wheel turned, you grab your panel removal tool, start from the bottom, work your way up. There should be three on each side. Then once you peel back the fender liner, you grab a 10 millimeter socket and a wrench and you can remove the two nuts that are holding the bumper to the fender. Once those two nuts are removed, you can pull the black plastic piece out from the bottom. Before moving on, you wanna make sure that you peel back the fender well and disconnect the turn signal combination lamp assembly. You wanna grab your panel removal tool and remove the three push pins that are connecting the wheel well to the belly pan on both the driver and passenger side. You'll then remove all the small bolts holding the belly pan to the K member of the vehicle. Next up, you want to hop up to the engine bay and remove all the push pins holding the plastic radiator cover to the car. Once the plastic radiator cover is removed, you can then work on disconnecting the top of the bumper cover from the car. There's a series of bolts holding the bumper cover in. Take your time, they are a wide thread pitch, but you'll be able to get them out. Be sure not to forget the five and a half millimeter bolts on either side. On the factory bumpers, you'll usually see this underneath of the weather stripping, so peel it back just above the headlight on either side of the bumper cover so you can get access to it and remove them. At this point, you're ready to take the bumper cover off the vehicle. There are guide pins along the top above the upper grill. You wanna slide those up and over and slowly work the bumper cover off the vehicle. On both sides, you'll wanna pull the tab loose and let it hang, that way you can pull the entire cover off as one assembly. Now that we have the bumper cover off, we're gonna take advantage of this situation, match up the form lighting with the turn signals and combination lamps and add in the diode dynamics LED combination lamps with the yellow fog. It is a plug and play installation, you just remove the factory combination lamp off of the factory bumper cover, and then grab your LED combination lamp from Diode Dynamics, slide it in place, and you're good to go. Once you have it secure, you can repeat the process on the other side. And we're gonna grab the turn signal connector, the factory connector, grab a small flathead screwdriver, and remove the face plate on the connector so you can get access to each pin. Carefully pull the back side of the connector out. Then you'll see in a lot of these plugs, there is a dead pin in there to block any you know, weather or any, any uh, contaminants from entering the harness. Uh, you'll wanna knock that out because that's what you're gonna use your diadynamics combination lamp harness to tap into for those daytime running lamps. 
Next, you'll grab the harness that comes with your combination lamps and you'll see a separate pin connector that comes off of the adapter that you'll connect to the headlights. You wanna grab this adapter and feed it through the back side of the connector. That way you can tap into the one open spot in this uh, factory connector. You wanna make sure that the flat part of each pin is facing towards the bottom of the connector and everything's nice and line and even with the rest of the factory pins. And then once you have everything lined up, you're ready to grab your white faceplate and slide it back in. Now that you have your Diodynamics LED combination lamps installed in the bumper cover, you can move to removing the factory headlights from the car. The process is very simple. There's three bolts holding the headlight on the car. You wanna make sure that you have a good grasp on the headlight as you remove it, and then disconnect the connector as well. Now that we have the combination lamps out of the way, we need to splice in the turn signal wire into the back of the turn signal harness for the form lighting headlights. On the passenger side, it'll be a yellow and purple wire for the power that you'll be splicing into. On the driver's side, it will be a green and blue wire. First, you wanna pull back the sheathing behind the connector to get access to the wiring. On the passenger side, like I said, the yellow and purple power wire is what you wanna grab. Your quick splice connector, the red connectors that are included with the kit is what you will use to splice into that power wire with the yellow uh, turn signal wire behind the form lighting headlight. Carefully slide the turn signal power wire into the quick splice connector and then you wanna take your yellow wire from the form lighting headlight and slide that into the stop. Grab a set of pliers and squeeze like there's no tomorrow. After that, take the combination lamp headlight adapter and connect it into the factory harness and then into the back of your form lighting headlight. Now you're ready to put the headlight up into the vehicle. It's a very exciting time here. Make sure you have your three bolts, get it lined up into place, and everything will slide right in. Reinstall the bolts to get the headlight into place. At this point, you wanna take a minute, throw the negative battery cable back onto the battery, and test to make sure everything works correctly. You'll now see the startup sequence for both the headlight and the turn signal. Just cycle through the high beams and turn signals, headlights on, parking lights on, fog lights on, just to make sure everything works correctly before you throw everything back together. Now is a great time to take the opportunity to align your form lighting headlight with the factory headlight. You can turn the lights off, shine both headlights out, and actually get everything nice and evened up. Once you have the other form lighting headlight installed, you can match everything across the board. Once you have your headlights adjusted, go ahead and install your form lighting headlight on the other side. Get your extra wiring bundled up using a zip tie. Then you could just reverse the installation process to put everything back together and your installation's complete. All in all, the installation really wasn't too bad on these form lighting LED headlights and diode dynamics combination lamps fitting your 2018 plus Mustang. Once you have the bumper cover off, honestly, the only like difficult part would be the wiring, just making sure everything's working well between the sequentials on both ends and the daytime running lights on the combination lamps. But regardless, once it's all done, it's well worth it. Obviously, beautiful, beautiful combination. Let us know your thoughts and comment below because personally, I'm a big fan of the way everything just hits right, especially with those yellow fog lights on this triple yellow Q500. It's an awesome combo. If you want to see other lighting solutions, again, let us know because we'll be happy to do a video on them here at the CETA YouTube channel. Hit that like and subscribe button, the notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.